What is going on YouTube? It is Primitive here and today I'm be bringing you yet another BT7 match. Today we are going to be having Green Hybrid on the left versus Blue Hybrid piloted up by myself on the right. Now we're going to go ahead and have the green player starting off the match. They are going to go ahead and play out the Betamon instead of just putting it in raising. So wanting to search which is a little bit interesting. Uh, not sure what the hand is there but I'm just going to go ahead and start off and play the Korikakumon here because I don't have any rookies and I somehow don't have any tamers either. And so by whiffing the, both of them, I just have to get something out on the board so that way I can start to digivolve up. Playing this Korikakumon down makes it so my opponent does go put me at one with the Mimi, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to go straight into the Beowulfmon. So now these Digimon are threatened to potentially get bounced back. Now, the Terriermon is a bit of an issue versus this deck because I do have multiple ways to gain memory. I don't have access to any of them right now, so it's not too scary, but the Betamon's going to swing in and hit the Howling Memory Boost, so now I definitely want that off the board. My opponent suspended both of their Digimon here, so next turn I could very easily swing over one of them and then use the effect to bounce the other one back. Probably going to want to bounce the Betamon back over the Terriermon, or else the Terriermon is just going to go ahead and get played again. So, thinking about what I want to do here, still kind of whiffing a Rookie, which is a bit unfortunate but not really too surprising because there's not as many rookies in this list so think about what I want to do here I am going to go ahead and after a little bit of thought decide to commit over the swing and bounce them back here so that way I can go ahead and pop the howling memory boost um, to go up to five which is going to allow me to make a little bit more plays I can play the Davis to go down to one and try to search out a rookie but instead I just hit another Beowulf and bottom deck a couple tamers so that's quite unfortunate but can still go ahead and just digivolve up into the ancient here my opponent's going to go to five or three anyway so might as well just digivolve for the five and put them to four and the ancient can put on some pretty decent pressure going forward if I get another hybrid out on the board, I can go ahead and swing with the Ancient and be able to unsuspend both of them, making it so I can get extra pressure. But my opponent's going to go ahead and Digivolve into the Beetlemon here to go ahead and search out a hybrid and a JP. Going to be able to hit those and think about where they want to go from here. They are just going to Digivolve for one up into the Rhino Kabuterimon, which is going to uh, make a little bit weird of a play here because my opponent's going to go ahead and swing and try to use the effect to go into the... Boncho, but the effect's not going to activate with the when attacking, so we called the judge over, we talked it out, and we, I decided I'd let them take it back. And did you evolve into the Ancient Beetlemon? This is a testing session, so I'd rather get things correct here and play it properly. Now, both of us are going to have our on deletion to play out some hybrids here. Um, neither of them are going to have the on play or anything, but I do have the Kendo on board, which is going to be able to threaten to be able to bounce back any rookies that come back. But now going into my turn at three, I am going to go back into the Beowulf, so that way I can swing, bounce, Hopefully survive the check so that way I can have that for uh, future turns. And now I'm going to go ahead and go into the Davis. Still trying to search. Haven't put a rookie in raising for the entirety of this game so far so um the low count of rookies really showing here but very interesting that i haven't even hit a bokumon as one of the rookies so just gonna have to keep playing off the champions here getting a couple tamers out is going to definitely help me so that way i can potentially set up for later my opponent's gonna go into digivolve and there's nothing for them to suspend but they can go ahead and swing in swing in with the betamon that's gonna go down and now we're looking really scary here because i only have one check left they do have two digimon on the board as well as a tamer that could easily become a hybrid so going into my turn I'm gonna have to try to uh, get something development here if I could get something like maybe a curry kakumon out there to maybe try and slow them down make it so that the uh, worm mons not gonna be able to attack but I can just swing over right here if I want to go into the curry kaku I'm gonna have to digivolve into another hybrid first so I go with the first curry kakumon and then digivolve into another one when digivolving the worm can no longer attack or block and I finally hit a rookie to put in raising and then I'm just gonna swing in try to get those checks in I now have a rookie in raising so next turn I'm gonna be able to threaten a pretty decent amount of checks with three digimon on board and one coming out of the raising starting to finally see the rookies there strabimon in raising and and then playing the Bokomon, so just drew my deck in a really weird order here. Uh, my opponent only has three checks left to my four Digimon, so I am looking semi good at the moment, but we're gonna have to see what my opponent decides to go for here. So, gonna go ahead and go into the Beetlemon once again, gonna be able to search out. Um, a tamer and then they are gonna want to choose to try and get rid of this Bokomon if I remember correctly so they are gonna digivolve up into this metal Kabuterimon which is gonna go ahead and suspend my Bokomon and then they can go ahead and swing over that if they want to and they decide to because that is just a pretty good memory gain it's gonna make it so I could go into one of my hybrids on top of this Davis for essentially free 
And now here's where I went ahead and made a pretty decent mistake on this game. Um, I am This is one of the first games that I played versus the green hybrid, so I completely forgot that JP lets you digivolve into the hybrid for one less. And the reason why this is going to be a pretty big deal, because I could just swing in all three of my checks right here and go in for a hybrid on top of the Davis and win the game. However, I do know my opponent has multiple cards in the deck that can suspend out of security, and so I was relatively scared of that, and so I decided to go for a different game plan here you can see me thinking it out I am going to go ahead and clear off the board here or make it at least so that this Wormon's not going to be able to attack by going into another Kori Kakumon on top of this one so make it so that one can't attack or block and so I can swing in here and then swing in with the Strawby and then right here is where I realized that if I just went in I could have won the game but I played scared around being suspended and so I was going to just go ahead and go with the play where I clear everything off the board I put my opponent to one and then in my head right here I'm thinking well my opponent can't win because all they can do a swing with the worm on they don't have any way to gain memory and then that's when it hit me that they are able to just digivolve into 4-1 so now I'm gonna have to hit ice wall off of this to be able to not die but I don't and they're able to swing in with the worm on so unfortunately did throw that game on that last turn a little bit playing a little too scared if I had remembered that JP was going to make it so that the hybrid only cost one, I would have just went all the way in there. And if I hit the suspending cards in security, then that sucks. But uh, no matter what, I was going to lose there. But I was just thinking that I could put my opponent at one, and that was a bit of a mistake. So going to have to remember that going forward. But no rookie, once again, no big deal, as long as I can hit one pretty soon. But I can get the Sorajo out, and the Sorajo is going to make it so that way I can at least gain some more memory. Um, unless both these Digimon swing in and die in the security check, then I'm not going to be able to get it. But we'll see what happens. They do end up both dying and then playing out the JP. So no Sorajo boost, which is a little bit sad for me because I want to get that memory. I want to extend my plays, but now I can hit the Bokomon. I'm going to go ahead and grab Davis and Strawby. Strawby gives me the rookie I can put in raising to get that free check-in when I promote. And Davis is going to make it so I can have the memory tamer. And both of those are going to be very helpful. So that was a pretty decent Bokomon there. But now they're going to swing in with the piercing. Going to go down. Thankfully, at least that's another Digimon that's off the board that I don't have to worry about. Because as of right now, I'm starting to fall really far behind, which is is a bit unfortunate um, I need to find some more things to put on board besides these Bokomons I need to be able to digivolve up into my hybrids and whatnot also uh, I'm gonna have this magna in my hand and so something like hitting Koji definitely would be very helpful so that way I could try and warp up into it but for the most part the magna is gonna be relatively weak I'm gonna be able to digivolve into the kendo and be able to gain two memories so that way I can swing and bounce back but I do go down and that sucks because uh, going down there is making it so that way my opponent's gonna have a lot more advantage Advantage. If the Kendo were able to survive right there, I could have put my opponent at a little bit lower memory. They would come out with the Wormmon, and they could potentially swing in with it. And if they uh, did, if they didn't, it would get bounced back. If they did, it would probably go down. And then whatever they played out for the remainder of their turn would likely get bounced back with the Kendo. But we did go down, so now my opponent's going to go have to search out uh, with the Beetlemon here. And there's just so much value coming out of this green hybrid deck with these Digivolves that it's pretty insane. And unfortunately, they keep swinging in, and they survive the security checks a lot um, with these bigger Digimon. The rookies are obviously going to go down because they're relatively weak, but with these 5, 6k Digimon surviving in security checks pretty consistently, it is going to put me pretty far behind because now I need to have an answer for this. Luckily, it's only a 5k and most of my hybrids are going to be at 6k, so I can Digivolve into it and swing over, but still not looking too great. My opponent's going to be able to hatch next turn and put a card in raising, plus they have the JP in back, so going into their next promote, they're going to be able to have two attacks uh, to my one security, so I'm going to have to try to figure out how to win before that happens but since i uh, don't have anything in raising right now and i'm not going to be able to hatch until next turn i am just looking a little bit too far behind going to be able to digivolve into the kendo gain the two memory with the bokomon so no pay there but i can play the tommy to go ahead and strip these sources the only reason i really did that was to draw with the kiaromon um, so that way i could at least try to find some more cycle but Get rid of what's on board. The JP is still there, and that's going to pretty much seal up the game, unfortunately, because there's no blockers and there's no recovery in this list. So unless I hit the one of Ice Wall to be able to play that out, put them at like one memory, then I'm just probably way too far behind because, like I said, they uh, they hatch, they get a Digimon. Next turn, they can promote, swing that Digimon, and go on top of the JP. They actually are decide to go into the Beetlemon right now, um, and that way they'll just be able to swing anyway. They can't go over the Kendo with the Piercing, but that's not that big of a deal. They can go into the Rhino 
Kabuterimon, and if they want to go up into the Hercules again and swing into the Kendo, they can. They are going to do that. Going to swing for three, or Digivolve for three, swing, trash the top security. So even if there was something like an Ice Wall there, it wasn't going to help me because it did get trashed. And now I have to see if there's anything I can do this turn. Looking at my hand, like I said, there's no blockers and there's no recovery, so there's nothing I can do. I could potentially get rid of the Ancient Kabuterimon, but I can't get rid of the Digimon in the Raising. So the Green's going to take it here. That was a very strong showing from the Green Hybrid. This is a list that we're going to see a lot of in the early metagame, potentially lasting throughout the metagame, but it's definitely the uh, one of the favorites in the early BT7 metagame. People are loving the Green Hybrid, so I wanted to try to get a match in for it, not only so I could get the practice versus it, but get some content for you all here on YouTube. So I hope you enjoyed this match. I'm going to be having a lot more BT7 content coming for you, both deck profiles and matches. So if you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe so that way you get notified the next time I upload some BT7 content. And I hope to see you next time. I hope you have a great day. Peace out.